So we can see that all validations here. Directly I can go through examples. Okay. You can see here automatic generated XML file. This XML file, this web.xml file automatically generated by your MyClips. See here, automatically it's added here one filter, starts to prepare and execute filter. See here, starts to prepare and execute filter class automatically added here with a pattern slash star. Now, if you see SRC, in SRC one struts XML file also generated. In that struts XML file, default added one DTD. If you see source, just a DTD added here with the root to tag struts and struts. The remaining configurations here we have to do. Okay. And now go to input page. Open your index.jsp page, welcome page. Welcome page also created automatically. So open your index.jsp page, write here code. Okay, your input page required code right here. <coughs> First import tag library at the rate taglib URI slash struts tags prefix with HTML. By default, it will recommend us to keep S. Okay, the recommended. If I if I click control space, by default it is appearing here. Yes. yes, you can go through this as or else your wish. Prefix name is our wish. Okay, it's not mandatory to use the same. You can go through your required one. We habituated with the HTML, right? So go through HTML itself. Then simple employee registration form. Employee registration form. Then here right here, HTML colon form. Keep that required form action. Simple registration. For this registration, actually here I am not using any pre and tables here. If you observe here in struts 2x, I no need to create any table or I no need to use any pre. Automatically it will arrange in a table order. Automatically whatever the fields you are creating here, that fields will be arranged in table order. Create text fields. I require a text field name. I require one name. Keep a label name here. Label name name and create one more field, text field, email, label name, email. email, create text field, let's say if it is address, label name address, okay. So text area you can take, for address you can use text area. Finally one submit button, HTML colon, submit, submit button value, registered. So here what happens actually, automatically it will arrange your fields in a table. Automatically this all fields will arrange in a table. And we no need to write any error tags also here. In one x we have to write error tags, right? Here no error, no error tag is required. Automatically on top of your text field it will populate error messages. So you no need to create any tables, you no need to write any error tags. Automatically it will provide error tags and automatically it will keep your form into table. Okay, so automatic arrange it will do here. Means how it will do that arrangements? There is one theme attribute. By default, it will use one XHTML theme. By default, one theme it will use here. The theme what it will do? Automatically, it will arrange your layout in a table. Okay, so by default, it will use that theme here. Okay, we have like four themes they given here. So using that themes, you can change your UI. Okay. And here I have input form. For the for that input form, go to SRC, write a programmatic validator class. Controller, programmatic validations. Now I will apply here. Controller. In under controller itself, you can do that validations. Write class, employee class, or employee controller class. Just you need to extend your employee controller from action support. Extend it from action support. And here write bean properties private name, email, email address. address, then write setters and getters. Okay. Then here you can override validate method. Here you can override validate method. In this validate method do what? Apply condition. If name dot equals, if it is empty string, if name is empty string, add error message here. To add error message there is one method, add field error. Field error for which field? For name field, I want to add field error. And error message is what? 
name is required one more field email for email email is required and one more field we have address for address address is required okay that's it in this way you can do your required validation operations so by default for validations we have to configure one result for validations result what we should configure in xml file there we have to configure results right one input result we need to configure yesterday i shown you how to configure it so yeah for validate method there is no return value but you need to configure you need to configure result name equal to input and value i mean path that path you need to use result name equal to input and the value result value where exactly you want to populate error messages where exactly you want to populate error messages error messages page dot jsp your page location you need to pass here okay where you should do this in your struts xml file you have to do this and override here execute method override execute method in execute method do controller operations here do controller operations finally forward your required page that page also should be result page forward is forward a result success simple string success okay here meanwhile if you want to print data print your data here name email address and now go to your struts xml file do configurations the main tag is here the main required tag for us here package under package the package name you should configure package name controller your wish default package controller package and you need to extend your package from there is one struts default xml file from that to default xml file you need to extend extending means what in java extending means we will inherit data so this xml file data which xml file data struts default xml file data we are, in, we are inheriting into our package means that struts default data will available her, uh, here so in that struts default xml file what we have actually some default interceptors are there as per this architecture some interceptors it will execute right there are some default interceptors up to 40 plus interceptors we have in that interceptors it will execute one default stack there is one default stack in that default stack we have 10 interceptors that all 10 interceptors will execute for every controller request for every controller request by default it will execute 10 interceptors so that all interceptors are there from this xml file okay if you read struts default xml file then from that xml file you can find here this is struts default xml file here you can see all the default interceptors these all are beans and interceptors okay package struts default here you can see they given many result types interceptors see here interceptors interceptor names alias auto where chain conversion error cookies clear session execute and wait prepare stop token many interceptors they given so the these all interceptors will be extended into your struts xml file and here my form action is my form action is actions you need to configure by using action only action name is what our action name is registration for this registration action you don't need to use any slashes okay registration for that action registration the class name is what the class name here we have to use our controller dot registration controller registration employee controller sorry then this controller have two results result name one is input input for what to forward error messages and one more result we required here one more result is what for success i required here success.jsp page
or else if you want to read that result here name email address if you want to display that result you can display here Now run on my clips tomcat container select my clips tomcat 7 finish the deployment successfully deployed go to deployed options configure server 9595 run your my clips tomcat 7 successfully server started Now run this employee registration in a browser. Port number 9595. Application name? Yeah, here is our form. See the table order? Automatically it is ordering name, email, address. And one submit button, arranging it right side. Okay, nice layouts, right? When I submit it, name is required, email is required, address is required. On top of your text fields itself, it is displaying here. So, required name, required email, final required address. Finally, displaying the data into success page using simple expressions, right? So, here by using what we are applying validations. <coughs> by using a simple validate method we are applying validations and in this validate method we are reading error messages actually error messages we are writing uh, yeah we are configuring here static error messages right if you see the code static error messages configuring here name is required email is required address is required in case if you want to read error messages from properties file generally in struts 1x it will not allow us to configure static error messages must we need to read error messages from properties file so here also if you want to read this error messages from properties file properties file error messages if you want to populate you can create a properties file here create a properties file package resources create a package resources so in this package resources create a file create a file messages dot properties <coughs> yeah here in this properties file you can keep your required error messages message one name is required, name is required. message two email is required message three address. address is required now this message if you want to read here that message if you want to read here there is one method get text method call that get text method keep your message key here message one get text of message two get text of message three here convenient i mean we have uh, it's our own convenient okay if you want to pass strings simple strings you can pass simple strings or else from properties file if you want to read you can read it's your wish okay dynamically if there is a chance to change your error messages configure them under properties file or else static error messages also can configure here Okay, no issue with the static error messages. Static error messages or properties file error messages. Now, how to configure this properties file? If it is a 1x, we know by using message resources, you can configure. But coming to 2x, here we have to use a constant tag. Constant tag, constant names. Here we have to enter a constant name. For here, for, for our properties file name, we have to configure custom dot iatnn dot struts dot sorry. Just I'll go through that data file. If you see struts core libraries, in struts core libraries, you can find one default properties file. In that default properties file, you can find this i18n uh, name. Struts dot custom dot i18n dot resources. Using this constant name, 
we should configure here using this constant name your properties file resource you should configure here resources slash messages no properties only base name you should configure now if you see the data it will read from properties file so you can expect your error, mess error message from properties file itself employee registration right click go to my clips yeah go to here select your project employee registration redeploy it okay if you see this here in debug statement you can find loading a global message from resources slash messages means that messages properties file data loaded already into your spring i mean your struts application now load your form submit it name is required email is required address is required from where it is reading from your properties file name email address finally done